bop, boop, bop. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. How the fuck did I know you were going to do that? How the fuck? And Billy Carter. Ja poopy, ja poopy, ja poopy, 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 ja poopy. What happens, folks, is Mike will make a joke to me off camera. And it's like, oh, can you imagine if you actually did that? And then Mike goes, oh, okay, I'm going to do that now. <laughs> well, not, not, not uh, hi, uh, Popeye. Um, I, I need to talk to you if you can just sit down right here. Uh, listen, I don't quite know how to say this, so I'll just come out and, uh, and oh, tell you're, you. Oh, you're um, gay. That's... Yeah. That's, all right. Mm. Interesting. That would be news. That would be news to my goy. Um, you said you were going to come out and say it. Please, please ignore the mentally deranged man who was who was trying. Yeah, I'm to I'm trying do to, it. but he's going over, sitting over here, going. Well, he, so, Popeye, <laughs> um, what 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 the um, insane amount of iron and uh, rusted tin in all the cans of spinach that you have um, has given you a stroke. Well, blow me down. Well, blow me. <laughs> wow. I, will gladly, I will gladly fist you Tuesday for a hamburger today. What's the other thing? 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 Well, wait, you know what, Bluto? You don't have any excuse. You should not be talking like that. Papaya, papaya, papaya. Papaya, papaya. Yeah, papaya, yeah, papaya. Will you do the fandango? Under Bubba, very, very frightening me. Papaya. So. <laughs> I cannot believe that. The following words are going to come out of my mouth, but... Taylor Swift is the sexiest woman alive. No. Who? (laughs) Taylor Swift. (laughs) Well, I mean, she is a very... She is very furry. Uh, I'm not a football player. I'm not her type. (laughs) Well, we all know E.G. Daly is your type. That's fair. But is she my type? Or am I her type is what I meant to say. Well, you know... As I said before, if Mike could very briefly play the clip from when this happened, so you I, I was just confusion, right? yeah. Well, I was just considering the fact that maybe you know I I she's too good for me, and therefore I just pleasure myself instead because at least there then I I'm for sure getting pleasure out of it. Well, I mean, <laughs> not with that attitude. If you're gonna put yourself down, <laughs> e. you're right. Daly's gonna be you're like, right, Dane. I am not too good for E. G. Daly, the voice of Tommy Pickles on Rugrats. <laughs> hey, you know what? You don't know. E. G. Daly could come up to you and go, a baby's gonna screw you. <laughs> Wait a minute. That didn't come out right. Yeah, see? You see right there? With, with your negative attitude, you'll never get anywhere with Tommy Pickles. Um... Oh, I would I would appreciate oh. if you didn't refer to her as Tommy Pickles. <laughs> that makes me slightly imagine, un uncomfortable. You're imagine, a... imagine you having sex with her. She goes, "A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do." You. That's okay. very that's very similar to what Dane said to me on that playthrough of Doom Three. <laughs> <laughs> a baby's gonna screw you. <laughs> You know, you know. I have a suspicion that if she said that to you, but she was butt naked, you would you wouldn't really mind. I'd probably be like, "Well, that's kind of weird, but you're naked, so all right, let's do it." <laughs> Imagine Tara's strong. I, I do. Oh <laughs> man. Green <laughs> juice, quava juice, seven. I do, anyway, I do imagine Tara strong frequently. <laughs>
getting back to my original point, GameStop actually has retro games that they sell on their website. Uh huh. My God, they actually sell them at prices that don't make me want to punch a baby. Uh, I know. It's like, oh my. You mean to tell me that GameStop is actually doing something correctly? They're what what they're doing is they they have decided because so many of these games are already getting put out on like virtual consoles and stuff, they estimate this lowers the price of the actual cartridges. Well here's the like for example, they're selling Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for fifty five dollars. Uh I don't this next even the cheapest I've seen is on eBay is like 180. Like, I would I would buy that for 55 dollars. I really would that game. Another thing that I've noticed over the last few weeks is I think I have it. the I think the bubble on old wrestling VHS tapes has finally burst because what used to be people selling them for 80 90 dollars now i'm seeing them for like 25 to 30 dollars oh like, you know what's awesome. highway robbery right now though what's that poop prices at electric daisy carnival for anything liquid okay it's uh so it's a big edm festival going on in vegas <laughs> oh. by the way hi, by the way hi jace you know now Hello. continue <laughs> So uh, electric this, this... dick metal, <laughs> electric dick. Metal. So yeah. yeah, okay. Here's here's the drink menu from EDC Las Vegas 2024. <coughs> Vodka. Now I don't know if this is this has got to be for a bottle. I don't know. Maybe these are branded with with the uh, music festival on them. Oh my and god! And that's why they want this much. Nine hundred and fifty dollars for a bottle of Kettle One Vodka. Nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. Okay. Didn't think Ooh, that one. Nine hundred and fifty for Sky Vodka. Nine hundred seventy five for Grey Goose. We got. Um, uh, we got. We got your uh, agave. So we got you know your your tequilas. It's uh that start at nine hundred and seventy five dollars. And peak out at eight thousand two hundred dollars. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. A six pack of white claws, one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. That that should be illegal, right that there. Yes, I agree. White claws should be illegal. <laughs> how about how about a that, six pack of smart water for ninety dollars? Uh, more like that. Fart water. Oh, that right no. there. I, I'm not even really a fan of smart water, but. Uh, that water better be that, smart that, enough that, to bring me to orgasm. I was. Uh, that's ex- how about that's a extortion. how about a bottle of Dom Perignon Brut, three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Jesus, jump Don Don Perignon. Okay, I I would never go to one of these festivals because you know it's full of I hate to use these uh, pretentious normies at at those types of concerts. I mean, like so. I've I've seen I've seen the EDC like footage, and it looks pretty damn awesome because it's literally a carnival. I it, like there's actual like carnival rides and shit going I, on. I've had a few friends who went to those festivals, and they've told me a, a lot of like the trance and club and all that. The women who are who go there, a good portion of them are smoking hot like hippie chicks. Yeah. Yeah, well, usually, yeah. I mean, like, it, it, it looks really freaking cool. You know, plus, like, they get the rides and they got art and, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a huge thing. It's not just, you know, a bunch of stages with DJs playing. Like, there's crazy shit going on. <laughs> but then when you, you know, look at the freaking, like, prices, uh, you know, champagne packages, five Perrier Fuck. Jouet Belle Epoque Brut, and one Magnum of Perrier Jouet Belle Epoque Rose, $10,650. How much is it for Natty Light? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, mm. like hell, a bottle of Jack Daniels will run you eight seventy five. You, you know, know how much it costs at the liquor store for that? For a bottle? I know, right? Twenty five dollars. I was like, just, that's for a very I, large bottle. What I wouldn't give to be a bartender there that weekend. You know, I was actually mentioning to the guy before you came in, Jace, that GameStop is very shockingly on the right side of retro gaming because I was looking at the Sega Genesis games that they're selling because now yeah. apparently they're a they're and carrying like retro games, yeah. Half the price that they are on eBay. I had to laugh, actually, that uh, they had a copy of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on GameCube at my local GameStop. But the price was still ridiculously outrageous, despite the fact that literally at the time of this recording, the game drops tomorrow. Well, oh, the price like, will go down by then. The price. Will oh yeah, go no, down the prices down. are already plummeting. If you check out price charting for the Thousand Year Door, you will see that the price is falling, and collectors are like, "Oh my god, my investment!" And it's like, it's never use video games as Ooh. never use video games as an investment. That's nah, what I've always know, said. You know what a good investment is? Lego. You know what else is a good investment? Gold. I mean, gold is a standard. Gold oh, is the best investment oh. you could ever have. Wait, wait a second, wait a second now. I'm starting to see a little caveat here. You're clicking on all these Genesis games and Son of a bitch. Not, av not available, not available, not available. Yeah, it's, it's like, if uh, they have it in stock, either in a warehouse or, you know, at a local location. Mm, there, there's the catch. There's the catch, yep. But if they do get it, if they're gonna put, you're gonna pay that price. Yeah, and that's the thing. Is like I've been seeing some receipts from people who collect games going to GameStop and getting some absolute gems for steel prices. Oh yeah. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here like, you mean to tell me that if I had just looked at the GameStop website, I wouldn't have wasted. I wouldn't have had to pay like those out the ass prices like. Good lord. Yeah. Wow. In the last you know, place you look. And you know, it's the funny thing. Jason Billy warned me. They were like, don't do it, man. Don't do it. But I did it. I feel like something. Oh, god damn it. You you think you've gone you, too you far? Didn't buy, you, you didn't buy Musha, did you? No. Okay. I was about to say. I'm like. I'm not, I'm not that insane. No. I'm like, yeah. Uh, Musha is. Uh, I, I like the game. I mean, I don't own the actual cartridge, but I love playing it on my uh, Switch, it's where I play it mostly. But yeah, there's no way. And, and I understand why Musha costs so much because wasn't it, it was wasn't a, it a Japanese exclusive game or block, blockbuster? Blockbuster exclusive. Yep. Uh, Block yeah. you, you could only run it. It was never put out in the regular market, but then when Blockbuster started getting rid of their Sega games, then they got out. And if I would have gotten it when they were selling them off, because they were selling them off like, oh yeah, $5 for that cartridge. It's funny because like my local Blockbuster, I never saw half this shit on uh, sale either. Like I didn't see, uh, my Blockbuster never got Final Fight Guy. <laughs> it, <laughs> I didn't know you were Canadian. They never got fat of fat guy. Hey, I'm not your guy, Wayne. I, uh, I'm not your friend, buddy. I read it Musha qu quite a few times, but son of a fucking I, I should have. I should have bought it years son ago. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Oh, also, uh, because I'm home, I could actually do this. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Nanners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, gotta got love having some of the Nyaner's clips here. What about dicks? I... What about dicks? What about the... What about nuts? What about big fat nuts? Okay. <laughs> or, or even better. I don't need to wipe. Wiping my ass does not matter. <laughs> Your ass there, there is... is happy. There was one, I forgot what game she was playing. She walked over to where this baby carriage was, and it was empty, and yeah. then she smacked it. She goes, bye, baby. 
I, I think it's hilarious. She posted a video of her doing uh, with the 3D model, the cha-cha slide. And she's like, if I don't do the cha-cha slide correctly, I'll explode. Oh, Guess what part she exploded on? Um, hot balls. Chris Charlie Brooks. Brown. Oh. Because literally nobody knows what the fuck to do when the guy says Charlie Brown. Apparently, according to the music video, it's that thing where you grab your leg and you grab your head and you do that weird jerky thing. I've seen two or three different variations of what the Charlie Brown actually is. Yeah. I always thought the Charlie Brown was just, you know, put your hands out to the side and, you know, kind of dance like a penguin awkwardly. I thought I thought the same thing. No. Same, same here. But, but like, yeah, according to the actual music video, when the guy goes, Charlie Brown, he does that, like, you know, freaking head and leg jerky thingy. And I was like, that's the Charlie Brown? Well, I always thought the Charlie Brown was like the the dance from... Uh, from Charlie uh, Brown Christmas, right? Yeah, uh, that, like, that whole... Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard to describe... Um, without that, that's why here. that's why I said like you know putting your hands out to your sides awkwardly like a freaking a pose penguin you know yeah. and like looking to your left and right or something. I always I always did the the dance Linus did during that scene in Christmas. Yeah. Or, Meanwhile, or that the... hands on your knees, hands on your knees is literally just the dude love. Dude love. Yeah. Yeah. The the dude love. The, you know the thing. The that he did the. With the the, the shimmy shake. Yeah. You see, I had somebody who insisted that the shimmy shake was the Charlie Brown in uh, the cha-cha song. It just goes to show you why it is the worst freaking song and dance ever. And why I will forever have a hatred of it mm. from working a job doing lighting at weddings. <laughs> I mean, come on. Why can't reception music? Why can't you be simple like the electric slot? <laughs> oh, no, you gotta be complex like the cha cha slide. You gotta feel it. It's you know, <laughs> cha cha slide plays, and I'm just like. <laughs> you, you, you turn into the Zooty fetish doll from Trilogy of Terror? <laughs> can, we, can, we get a, can we get a picture of the Zooty fetish doll from the trilogy of terror? Look at this fucking thing. You really uh, they really weren't that far off from the noise that it made, okay? I mean B Billy knows Billy knows which VTuber that is, because uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm, you know I'm, what? I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm drawing a blank. You know, you know exactly who she is because she dropped the N word. <laughs> okay, so I have to. I just have to say this. Yeah. You got. You guys are free to like these VTubers, but the the that whole like. Oh, I'm a week to go. Those noises. Are I mean, so... that's that's Japan in a nutshell. I mean, like that. It, the funny thing is that woman right there, she actually talks that way. That's her actual voice. She's I not just, putting on I any airs. That, I find that so fucking unsettling. I mean, she's I, tiny. Uh, she's un, very unlike, tiny. Uh, unlike this other one. Oh, oh God. I, please. Yeah. <laughs> Bibu.exe has stopped responding. <laughs> Bibu, yeah. The like the the only reason I know of freaking uh Zoomer memes because that's all she does is freaking introduce the rest of them and torment them with Zoomer memes. Not even Bay torments uh, them with Zoomer memes and Bay is a, is blatantly a Zoomer and you are stuck. I am stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, dear. <laughs> Soft locking! The bane of our existence. Ugh. That happened to me in uh, WrestleQuest. There are oh, very God. few quote unquote fetishes. Ah. That I. No, see, my, 
My fetish is this voice. Uh, I heard a jailbird call for the Ubu magic. Let's go. Ra Ubu XD Ovo Mia Ovo Nya Ubu Neko Ovo Ta Kiki Ubu Ubu Ehe Kawa E. Why do you keep making me say weird things like that? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go shoot. I'm gonna go shoot myself. <laughs> okay, all right. I've heard that voice before. Okay, who is that again? That's that's actually uh, the one that I met at Anime Boston, Narissa Ravencroft. Oh, Narissa! I love her. Well, by the yeah. way, by the way, get ready for me to Jeez. make no progress at all in this game because I keep dying she, here, and there's no cheats. She's one of the. She's one oh. of the few zennials. <laughs> Uh, she, she, is, she is definitely of our age. She's in her thirties. Noticeable. She's in, she, she is. She has to be in her late thirties. I mean, just because some of the stuff she talks about and all the rest of them are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, she's basically the cyborg of Teen Titans Go. She starts talking about VHSs and cassette tapes, and they're like, huh? <laughs> And then she'll start talking about Sega Genesis games. You know, like, I remember when this game came out. It's like, yep, yep, you're my age. You're and my age. And there's only one other person in Hololive who I know can appreciate the Sega Genesis. Eating a Michael Tyson's eye. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It is clearly. Corona is human. Goodbye. Corona is turtle. Corona is turtle. I not understand. I just walked back in. Water in the fire. Why? Water in the fire. Why? Yeah, Dane, you missed it. You missed eating Mike Tyson's ass. Uh, I don't think he's. I don't think I would say he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. I, I need to go laugh for a while. I'll be right back. He missed it in the same sense that he's missed with every bullet so far. How many times have I died on the same place now? <laughs> I, I've lost count. I, yeah. No. Like, like I said, there's no cheats and no trainers, so get ready for this to happen a lot. So. <laughs> Wario falling down the stairs. Uh, that's pretty much yep. how I feel right now. Yeah, that's that's kind of the vibe. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this going, fuck, is this the last... Is this the Dark Souls of Boomer Shooters? <sighs> Come on, there's got to be at least one cheat. One co-ed... There isn't. I looked. Oh. All the things Marcus. I found were for the first game. Oh. And the oh. only trainer I found, you gotta, like, sign up for some bullshit website to get to it. Well, that's a bunch of bull. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I have three health, so I'm probably not going to survive very long here. Uh. Huh? Told you. I found one right away. Really? Because I, I looked because I looked through like three pages of Google results and couldn't find a single one. Sure. Yeah. Well, I use Bing, and. First thing I found was methtrainer.com. Uh, file number one, game version 0 0.4.39024, five options, infinite health, infinite ammo, unlimited stamina, unlimited armo, and, uh, armo, armor, unlimited combo. Uh, and then a different one that has, like, even more options. They're apparently... Dot .ct files? I don't know how to open those. Um, oh, it's for Cheat Engine. I don't have Cheat Engine. So that doesn't uh, help me in the slightest. 
Okay. What uh, what engine are you on now? No, cheat engine is a program, Dane. It's a program. Oh well, part of me, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like there's, I got like no options for for cheats or anything yeah, like that. Um, or unpack this file. Call your password trainer. This trainer works with version 1.0.3.3 of the game. Um. Hey Jace, there's this VTuber you do need to check out. Uh, who? Her name is Miss Lala. I don't know why that she's sounds on, familiar. She's on Twitch. Mm. Uh, She's really into Magic the Gathering and Fallout. <laughs> I found an exploit. I can't shoot through gates, but I can swing my sword through them. <laughs> ah, I will be cool. right back. I, I'm being summoned. Pony chan Plus five trainers. Okay. Pony chan And, and Dane oh, never Odie. came ah. back. <laughs> <laughs> Odi-chan! Oh, Odi-chan! Oh, I love Odie. you, Odi-chan. Odi-chan. That, <laughs> Please stop. I, that, that's just making me think of freaking, like, uh, Smash Brothers announcer, Odi-chan! <laughs> Her burned brother, go! Project Warlock 2, early access, fearless... Champion. That doesn't... Or if it says early access, yeah. then... Don't bother because I don't believe this is an early access anymore. It might anymore. still be, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Cheathappens.com does not have any trainers, cheats, or editors for PC. Yeah, see? Yeah, according to that one website. It's balls. Trainercity.com. Uh, so I was. Uh... Trainer plus five? So before yeah, I got on here, trainer. it's another cheat engine one, I guess. Yep. So before I got on, on the stream, on, on the stream, on, on the, the recording day, and, um, and I was watching. God damn it! Dane, Dane's Urgh. back. And Dane never came back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, never gonna happen again. Oni Chan. So whatever you were summoned for must not have been too important. It didn't take long. <laughs> this time around. <laughs> Come on up to the fence. Come on. Come to the fence. Come on, the area. Come on to swing the my s Come on swing my sword at Come you. on and slam and welcome to the gym. I'm just going to fucking I, I exploit everybody this way to try to give me a better chance of fucking actually like Surviving. Uh, Jace, I yeah. saw a pin that you might like online. It, it says this. It says, I swing both ways with my sword viciously. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I, uh, I got a bumper sticker on my car that yeah. uh, says monster fucker. <laughs> I saw yeah, one. It it's says, it's got uh, it's got like a uh, Kraken girl uh, behind the text too. Uh, I, I I saw I saw one thing. It says I I break for bunny girls. <laughs> hey, 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 buddy, 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 guy. As uh, long as the bunny girl is not a war criminal. Hey, Pippa. <laughs> <laughs> That war criminal. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I found out recently, apparently, uh, Hosho Marine is going to have her own brand of rum. Really? I, I need to import this somehow. That's going to be hard. I will find a way. It's I the ordered, same company um... that made uh, that gin for uh, the other member of Hollow Live. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the thing is, is, they make a cola syrup for, like, making your own, uh, uh, your own pop cola. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, it's it's uh, Pecora. It's, uh, it's Pecora Pecola. And I was like, Pecora Pecola. I need this syrup so I can have Pecola. And then I need the Hosho Marine rum so I can have a, you know, captain and war criminal. I, I want a rum and coke, but it needs to be Pecora and Marine. <laughs> you know, I got the, these drink mixes. Look at, look at them pixel you, titties. You know, uh, powdered drink mixes. Yeah. And I got ones from Sonic, and I got the ocean water one. I really oh, don't yeah, like that's, it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Ghost, right? Yeah, the ocean mm-hmm. water is, is just, uh, it's it's pina colada flavor, which is. Ugh, yeah. That's why I don't like it. Yeah, it's. it's right, just, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to It's gonna get myself it's some. Coconut uh, lime. Ugh, it's gross. Yeah. Um, I'm not a fan. I, I got that by accident, too, because I was like, oh, Sonic has some good flavor stuff. I'm going to get it. Like, and ocean water. Yeah, it tastes about as good as ocean water actually does. <laughs> quite frank, quite frankly, I rather drink actual ocean water. Ocean um, water, right <laughs> take me by the water. <laughs> ocean water, my favorite band is Slaughter. <laughs> you know, I'm loving the uh, pan flute. That's one. That's wonderful, Jace. But what about this game? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's quite ambient. Oh no, there's the enemy to your left. Yeah, I, there was one to my right too, and unfortunately, I could only deal with one at a time. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> There's so, dead bodies everywhere. So I think the gate or fence saved our asses finally. Yeah. Have confidence. Thank you, um, Magoo. <laughs> it's uh, the helpful dog. Fuck. Have confidence. No confidence. 30 minutes of the same section of this level. Wow. Yeah. It's too hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> your pooter, your scooter, your your lovely baby shooter. I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, Squidward, Squidward. I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward. You're Squidward, I'm Squidward, we're all Squidward! Kick me out. And, and I'm cringe. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other Squidwards I should know about? <laughs> meow. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, too bad Mark ain't around. I, I have the perfect button on my soundboard. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I also have... Hi, doggy. <laughs> hi, doggy. My dog's right here in my room, so... <laughs> or, if you, or, if you really, or if you really want that pig to die, die, Hoggy. Hello, Hoggy. Die, Hoggy. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. The sound of my voice makes women pregnant. Oh. <laughs> Quiet. Hello. <laughs> No goose, no goose. No boosie. <laughs> no boosie. I'm pretty sure there's a ROM hack, I think, for uh, GoldenEye that lets you play GoldenEye in Mario 64. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Or Shooting actually, how, how about Doom in Mario 64, where, like, you're killing a bunch of toads? You know, like, you, you kill them and all you hear is... God damn it. 
Yeah, you hear that. <laughs> God damn it. God, God, God damn it. God damn it. Hey, enemies, I, I, come up to the fence. I find, I find it so funny that on the Silk commercials, uh, what's his face, uh, Jeremy Renner, she, uh, she, he, uh, <laughs> he, uh, is still kind of doing the whole, uh, um, Hawkeye thing. I'm amazed that he was able to come back from that accident. Well, he would. Didn't he, didn't he save somebody's life or something? Yeah, got, like, run over by the vehicle in the process. Oh, yeah, they, they said he made a full recovery. Yeah. Kind of amazed. Maybe I'm amazed hero. at the way you lure me, you're all the charm. Think about this. Out of all the people that play the Avengers, he's the only one that's an actual hero. <laughs> True. Although, uh, Paul Rudd has superpowers, too. He just doesn't age. Yeah, <laughs> He still looks the same he did, like, in the, the mid-90s. Yeah. He's what, like, like fifty-five, almost sixty. He's he's like he's that. like the he's like the author of JoJo. He's got to be one of those people who is guaranteed a vampire. Yeah, Paul Rudd is fifty-five. You're right. Yeah, and he looks like he's like thirty-five. Secretly, Paul Rudd is actually one hundred and eighty-two. He was in a in the early '90s. He was in a Super Nintendo commercial back in the yep. early '90s. He was in one of the first Super Nintendo commercials. He was in one of the Halloween sequels. Yeah, I like the worst one. It's always funny to see like where actors got their start. I mean, what um um uh, Matthew McConaughey was in a Texas Chainsaw movie. Yep. He, he is like the embodiment of Texas made human. Uh, with uh, Renee Zellweger. She was in the movie too. No, uh, actually, funny enough, with uh, Matthew McConaughey, apparently he's even the emergency alert notification for weather in uh, a county of Texas. <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like there's a tornado coming, folks. Get Hello. in your ditches and shelters. All right, all right, all right. Hello. Hello. Recording. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I'll play by the hot dog with you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Rocco. Rocco. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> Rocco, there's a, there's a spider in the bathroom. Would you mind shooting him out? Hey, but is this a peep show? Huh? <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm recording a porno. Is that what you want me to say? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, oh, Bobby, put some baloney on okay. that one. <laughs> we're, we're we're recording uh we're recording a porno for germany oh 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 oh, oh. <laughs> oh. how what did i fucking I? know how did i fucking know that was coming <laughs> oh, <hi>. oh. <laughs> i was showing my roommate a couple of our old shorts last night our YouTube shorts. And it's amazing to me how many of those shorts contain that sound effect, Jason. <laughs> and somebody in my house reacting to it. Yeah, that happens a lot, too, somehow. <laughs> this is why it's still on the soundboard. 
Because if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> that's also the poop sound effect that, like, causes also, Nyaners to corpse instantly. It's also the poop smith. <laughs> oh no, I'm just a poop. How can you say you love her if you can't even eat her poop? <laughs> Come on around, I'll just blow y'all heads off like this. <laughs> it's not that fucking funny, Billy. It is to me! It is to me! I'm the Wicked Witch of the <laughs> West! <laughs> if, if you actually witnessed when that clip happened... Uh... <laughs> Remember that day? It oh my god. She went on a tirade about poop for a half hour. I'm Billy Carter! I'm pretty sure that's also where the thing about wiping uh, came from. The, the I don't wipe. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to wipe. Wiping my ass does not matter. <laughs> uh. Alright. I've had it. I'm gonna gum ho through this. Lira Jaggins. Anytime I made that joke, Mark would go, "You know that was staged." I'm like, "Yeah, I know, but it was still funny." Still funny. <laughs> Piss. Back my life. Oh God. It's really looking like that. This whole episode is going to be this one fucking area. Just dying. <laughs> yeah, just be dying. Welcome, welcome to Backseat Gamer, and welcome to dying. Welcome to die. Welcome to dying. <laughs> it's a great blind guardian song. It is good guardian, great blind guardian. Geek dung dung ding dum bum bum. I've, uh, I've actually got the uh, the DVD of their live concert, uh, Imaginations from the Other Side. Ooh. Imagination yeah. from the Other Side! So, uh, what's great is that the crowd pulled a Fuck. wrestling arena thing. They did not want the song to end and just kept on singing the chorus of Valhalla over and over and over again. Cool. Oh, Blind Guardian. Uh, nothing oh, better, yeah. nothing better than Blind Guardian. After all, nothing more fun than saying his name, Hansi. If you say his, uh, saying his name and he appears, I believe in Joe Hendry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. Say what? his name and he'll appear. I, I believe, believe in, in Joe, Joe Hendry. Hendry. Whatever you do, <laughs> don't say candle check. Candle check. <laughs> I believe in Ho Somebody Hendry. Called. I believe in Joe Hendry. All right. So, by the way, just so you're aware, I spent this last two minutes buying Quake on fucking Steam. <laughs> there you go. Well... Hey, Your look. game is ready to play. Yep. <laughs> How about that? Literally, I'm just over this game already. Uh, Generally, if it takes me, if I, to play this game. I, I, I am. I figured it would be as fun as the original, but it's not. And there's no fucking cheats or trainers to help. It's, it's oh. the Dark Souls of boomer shooters. <laughs> Literally. I, if it was a lot, if it was less frustrating, even without cheats, it probably would would be fun. But. It's, it's just not. I'm not enjoying this. So yeah, this will be the last episode of Project Warlock 2. We're going to switch right to over to Quake. <laughs> so we're playing two different games in one session today. That's a first. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shit happens. Yeah. You, know, you, you also could have saved yourself a little bit of money and uh, just installed something that I gave you. <laughs> Yeah, but I wanted to play Quake. I wanted to play the Night Dive remaster, specifically. Uh, it has, I die! Because it has all the uh, DLC. I die! The, the two mission packs. I die! So, yeah. Uh, I bought the, so I bought the entire series God. of uh, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, uh, such a good freaking show. 
uh, that was actually a couple months ago. Uh, I was part of a radio drama uh, performance Say of uh, the Cowboy Bebop movie. He is dumb. I believe in Dane for June. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How dare! How dare you! Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go now. I'm sorry, Thank Dane. You. A lot of people tend to forget that there's only 25 episodes. Of... Yeah, a lot of people tend to forget that Dane Ford Joan is a human being with feelings and thoughts. Please well, I mean, sponsor just... Dane Ford Joan today by calling 1 800 755 8642. And for ten cents a day, you too can sponsor a starving Dane Forgione. You know, you, 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 you in the arms fun. of the angel. I, I went to Fairly Dickinson, and I have a degree from there. Mike, Mike Riley's a double tongue. Thanks. I, I love you too, Dane. That um, commercial got made fun of so many times. Me. You're the one who made fun of me first. I know. So, but I love I, you too. I'm a guy. Thank you, Hueba. <laughs> I am Die. I am Die. Thank you forever. We're like. Oh, I am. We're I like. Am thank you no. forever. We're like. I am Die. <laughs> fuck you forever. <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> this this game. Like, come on. The really? fact that I've spent almost an hour. It's 45 minutes, and I've spent it all on this. Literally, this one section. Have yet to get this past it. I mean, I, watching you die over and over just has me looking at this and going, "How do you beat it?" Yeah, exactly. And I suck. Time. I suck at video games to begin with, but somebody who's good at them would be frustrated with this. Yep. I mean, seriously. And I'm pretty sure again, the viewers don't want to see me doing the same like little section of the level over and over and over and over again. That would not make for good show. You know, looking at this, all I can think now is, hmm. With this being as frustratingly hard as it is on what? Mission three yeah. of episode one? Yeah. I'm like, this this is actually a good rage game for Tiffany. Oh lord. I killed a, Kill a knight with a claymore. With a claymore. So Drew McIntyre killed him? <laughs> claymore! CM Punk is a bitch. <laughs> All right, uh, Drew, tell us something we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Say what if you, if you make out with your cousins. cousins. Pepsi is a soft drink. <laughs> I need a hard drink. We knew that We knew that already as well. <laughs> no, I meant it was a drink for soft people. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> CM Punk is made Charlie of glass. Lemon Charlie lime Colin Gatorade. Died. Tell me something you don't know. Okay, I, lemon I, I lime just, Gatorade uh, looks like pee pee. I uh, I just what? had some ghost hydration blue raspberry actually earlier. It was really freaking good. Tasted like candy. Like literally, tasted like drinking liquid sour patch kids. Which means that it tasted like that booze that I made too. Yeah. 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 Amazing that something that has all freaking two carbohydrates in it tasted like a freaking candy. Mm -hmm. Seriously, this game does not need to go this hard on the uh, on the pan flute. It really. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This is the farthest I've made it the whole episode. The, the pure moods of pan flute. The pure do, 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 do. the pure do, moves. Do, 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 do. Here, here moves. Songs from, songs from Yablo, the Albanian flute playing king. Turn off yeah. that damn rappy yeah. record. Mother. Fudge nuggets! Damn it. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, anyway, uh, th thank you for watching Backseat Gamer. If you like what we're doing... Get, get, get some help. 
<laughs> Remember, Mike Riley has a very big claymore. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'll, hold on. I've, I've got that soundboard in front of me, too. Mike Riley has a very big... Dumb. Thank you. <laughs> it's the hourly dong. Yeah. Who let the dongs out? Slap, 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 slap. Who let the... Crazy USA hamburger, yes! Out. I don't know. Who did let the crazy USA hamburger, yes, out? <laughs> Um, it was Tommy Wiseau. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> oh, hi, oh, hi, Hamburger USA. <laughs> you know, I, I would love, if if I ever freaking got into uh, Hollow Stars, I would love to get another VTuber hooked on Borderlands. <laughs> I would love to get another VTuber hooked on Crystal Meth. No. <laughs> Oh no! Say his name and he appears. Please kill Hi. me, Joe Hendry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not very nice. What? I I asked Joe Henry to kill me. He's uh, like Doctor Kavorkian. <laughs> yeah. You know. Corrosion. Erosion of conformity. Disrespect your surroundings! <laughs> can I, can I? Uh, the latest Botchamania had so many good clips Play in it. Playing this game makes me feel like drinking Jim Jones's Kool Aid. Bob <laughs> Plum! <laughs> <laughs> it's Flavor Aid, I know. It doesn't, doesn't scan, Kool Aid scans better in the context of the song. <laughs> It most certainly does not. Oh, uh, yeah, speak, speaking of wrestling, how about that triple main event at Double or Nothing? Ooh. Damn it, Tony, what the fuck? Is one of the main events Tony Khan versus his dignity? I'm pretty sure he'll lose. <laughs> he has no dignity. I mean, it, it was it was an empty ring. I'm going to fight Tony my Khan, dignity. So Tony Khan wins by forfeit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much. Triple triple main event. Uh, Willow versus Mercedes for the TBS championship. Uh huh. Because you know we're putting the TBS championship over the actual women's title. Um. Mm -hmm. Yep. Swerve versus Christian for the AEW title. And Anarchy in the Arena. The only reason to get the pay per view. It is, it is for the, the Cartoon Network Championship. No. <laughs> well, it yeah. is it is the uh, it is the new elite of uh, the Young Cucks, uh, Kazuchika Okada, and uh, Scapegoat Jack Perry versus uh, Brian Danielson, FTR, and back from being hit by a bus, Darby Allen. He was hit by a bus. Yes, in New York City. Poor dude. Yeah, no, like this this man cannot catch a break. It's like I'm gonna climb uh I'm gonna climb uh, Mount Everest. Gets injured in the ring. Okay, I'm gonna postpone that. Gets hit by a bus. I'm okay! I think that's just God's way of saying, Don't climb the mountain, Dory. Don't do it! <laughs> Don't say it! Don't go I'm gonna climb Mount Everest! Injury. <laughs> Yeah, but triple main event. And you're putting the TBS championship over your women's championship? Uh, what? Isn't I that the funny. lower belt? Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, yeah it, and, and it's freaking Mercedes versus Willow. Why? Oh, because Willow was the one who injured Mercedes, and that's why she dropped the New Japan belt? Tony, you make no sense with these booking ideas. They will be fighting for the <laughs> CNN championship. <laughs> I'd like be... to see Soraya versus 
My dick. Uh, Mercedes. <laughs> oh. Because she... <laughs> yeah, either one of them. Uh, oh, my I'm sorry. God. I, right? yeah, I, I'd them, actually yeah. probably fuck Tony Storm before I fuck Soraya. I'll be honest. Didn't she actually? Tony Storm actually got naked on uh, on well, Rampage yeah. last week, didn't she? <laughs> or Dynamite? One of the two. She came out and undressed completely behind a towel. The things they're doing to stoop yeah. for ratings. Yep. <laughs> Potentially <laughs> see at, Tony Storm's boobies. <laughs> They're timeless. I, I'm sure they're somewhere on the internet. I'm sure they're somewhere on the internet. Yeah. She does have an OnlyFans. I don't know if there's any nudity on it. I do love how, uh, uh, freaking, uh, oh, God, I'm, I'm blanking on her name. Uh, freaking, uh, Sammy Guevara's, uh, wife posted uh, a picture Te with. Conti? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she posted, uh, a picture with all the women from AEW, like from five years ago. Owie. And it's like me and the girls. Owie. But she photoshopped uh, Tony Storm to be black and white in that picture. Hey, you gotta live the gimmick. Yeah. Can't break it, I'm like, that's beautiful. <laughs> Keeping kayfabe alive. No, she just is in black and white. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they colorize her for certain matches. It's Ted Turner. It's Ted Turner. He can do that. He's been doing that for decades. <laughs> yeah. Tonight, this year for Christmas, I've given a gift that I think everyone can appreciate. I've colorized the moon. <laughs> it's a nice green and, and red for Christmas. I hope you enjoy so. it. And every tribe in, like, in, 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 in like, wait. Captain Planet! <laughs> that fucking Protect robot the chicken. planet or I'll kick you in the nuts! <laughs> fucking robot chicken. That was the best. I love how glitchy this freaking monster is because he's stuck on everything. I I watched I mean, could, Captain could Planet be worse. recently. Could I be, watched could Captain be worse. Planet recently. Could be raining. And... It makes absolutely no sense that these people on here are just purposely trying to pollute. I'm, there's I mean, no reason for it whatsoever. There's, it's not like it's not like they they started an industry that was helping people and just the byproduct was pollution or anything. No, no, no. Just I made the smog sake. machine. I made the smog machine. I'm purposely giving people AIDS. I'm. It's like. <laughs> Somebody please take that out of context. Please, somebody, take what Billy just said out of context, serious. please. Just to take a little short clip of Billy saying, I give people AIDS, and then just post it on the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, use mean, an AI voice modulator and turn it into I don't into even Elon need Musk. AI. He literally said it. <laughs> no, no, but now, now take what Billy said, but run it through AI so that it's Elon Musk saying it. Only if it, by proxy, gives Elon Musk AIDS. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Thank you, everybody, I'm watching for it. watching Backseat Gamer. Hold on, let me die at least before you start <laughs> the outro in the show. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm watching gonna an episode. It's going to happen. I'm down to four health. And, and it's this car that has these huge exhaust pipes in the back, and it's just pouring out this smoke and exhaust. And I'm like, hold on a minute. There's not one government that would ever legalize a car that would do that. I'm sorry. I mean, the EPA, they, they look at every car to see what the emissions are. And this, I know, I understand, I understand this was the early 90s. <laughs> and if anybody understands then, emissions, like, it's Billy no. Carter. <laughs> oh, I know emissions very well. Because <laughs> he farts a lot, you see. I have a huge common footprint. <laughs> Coming from your ass. No, I miss. Yep. There, I've died. All right, fuckers. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like this show, you're probably insane because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Uh, next episode, Quake. We'll see you next time. Uh, for Dane Ford, Joe, and Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. 
on Backseat Gamer.